guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing this look for you. It's very fresh, very glowy, very pretty. I think it's perfect for pretty much any season. I don't know, I just, I've been loving wearing this. It's super quick to do, it's really simple. Um, I've used a mixture of like drugstore and high-end products. But yeah, I, I've been absolutely loving it and I get so many compliments every single time I've done this look. So if you wanna see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna start off with my face first. I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize, and this is the Cetaphil Restore Derm Eczema Calming Body Lotion. So I know what you're thinking, body lotion, why am I putting it on my face? Well, unless you can't already tell, my skin is in pretty bad shape. I mean, I've had acne my entire life, and I feel like it's kind of been worse since I moved to California. So I'm on a couple of different medications right now. I went to a dermatologist a few weeks ago and she prescribed a topical cream, a vitamin A cream. And if you're in any way familiar, vitamin A creams are, I mean, it's supposed to be really, really good, but the initial beginning of the treatment, it's just purging your skin. So, so everything, that is kind of underneath like the little pimples that are brewing trying to get out it just kind of instantly pushes everything out to try to heal everything and prevent new breakouts so i'm on that and then i was also prescribed spironolactone 2 which is it's pretty common a lot of people are on spironolactone for hormonal acne it's prescribed to women only but i've been on it for a few weeks haven't really seen results but they do say that it takes a few months to see results so i'm staying optimistic so we shall see so just kind of ignore my skin this is probably the worst that my skin has ever looked but you know what nobody's perfect so we just make do with what we have for foundation I'm not gonna prime. Um, it's been kind of chilly. I mean, it's been not that chilly for winter, but for California, it's been pretty chilly lately. And when it is, I don't really produce as much oil, so I don't need to prime. But the lotion is the most important thing for me because the vitamin A cream is just making me so dry. Like, I would wake up in the morning and I would, you know, put on my lotion or whatever. And after I put on my foundation, I would leave the house and an hour later, I would look into the mirror and it would literally look like I was wearing a mask mask like it was just cracking and but ever since I swear ever since I started using this it keeps me so hydrated it's not one of those lotions that you put on and within five or ten minutes you can't feel it anymore you feel this on until you take it off so if you have dry skin I highly 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 recommend you pick this up and give it a try ignore the fact that it says it's for your body it's an amazing amazing moisturizer so definitely give it a try then I'm gonna be going in with my two colors of foundation this this is my Ride or Die foundation, the Revlon Color Stay, and I am in the shades Golden Caramel and Buff, and I just mix them depending on how tan I am, but pretty pale this time of year. Actually, I'm not even really into tanning lately. I don't know, just, it's like too much work, so I'm good. And I'll usually do like a two to one ratio of the lightest to the darkest color. I don't know what's going on with my voice either. I feel like I sound like a man. Maybe I'm getting sick. I hope not, because I have to work a lot and I cannot be sick at work. That would not be good. So then I just mix them on my face and then go in with the beauty blender. You know what's funny is when I started filming videos last year, and I mean, you know, it's natural to be like influenced by the people that you watch, but I was always like, I would get on and you can kind of see it in my earlier videos. I would turn the camera on and I would just pretend to be this like super energetic, like loud, like joking person and I don't know why it took me so long to finally just be comfortable being myself but that's just not me I'm not that's not my personality you know I'm kind of like I don't know just quiet I don't know but I'm just glad that I'm finally at a point where I'm like I'm just okay with like being who I am you know and that's what we should be that's what we should strive for we should never try to be like anybody else and you know it takes some of us longer to learn that than others and that's totally okay i'm glad that, that i finally figured that out later than never you know every day i continue to be impressed by the coverage of this foundation i mean it makes me look like i have flawless skin and we all know that's not true <laughs> 
You know what I need to do too is do some kind of a video for my Invisalign because I'm almost at a mid midway point with my treatment and I'm already seeing so many results. I mean, granted, I'm not completely comfortable with my smile yet, but so much better than what it used to be. So if you guys want to see that, please let me know and I will definitely film that for you. But if not, you know, I don't want to just bore you. So let me know. Okay, so while my foundation is setting, I'm gonna do my brows. You never wanna powder your face as soon as you finish your foundation because that's when you can cake a lot of the time. So you always wanna make sure that your foundation sets. And then once it's almost set or completely set, then you can go in and powder. So to do my brows, I'm going to be using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Brow Mousse in the shade medium brown. Okay, so brows are done. And I'm just gonna now prime my eyelids just using my e.l.f. eyelid primer. This is, I think, still one of my favorites. It's like the cheapest one in the entire world and it works so unbelievably well. My nails are atrocious. I don't even remember the last time I did my nails. My mind has been elsewhere lately. You know when you just don't I don't know, I don't know what's been going on, but hopefully soon I can get it together. <laughs> so to kind of give that whole glow from within, what I like to do is my foundation is pretty set, almost, not completely, but pretty set. So I take a highlighter and I've raved about these before, the Makeup Revolution highlighters, and this is my favorite one, the Radiant Lights. So I take this, on a Morphe 501 brush and then I highlight first but I go a little heavier and I take it right underneath my eye and follow all the way around that area. I've been doing this every single day lately and I get so many compliments. It's crazy. People are like, your skin looks so pretty and so glowy and I'm like, <laughs> I look crazy right now. <laughs> That's so funny. Don't worry, it won't look this insane after we're done. And then I'm gonna take this on kind of the highest points of the lid. And then I'm also gonna take this on the inner portion of the eye as well. I look so shiny. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. It just looks crazy right now, but it won't forever. So next I'm just grabbing my what is this? Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I was like totally blanking on the name. And we're gonna set the face and you'll see kind of how it tones down the highlight, but it still just makes it look like it's like coming from within. See how it's like way more toned down than this side, but still you can see it peeking through and it just looks like your skin is super healthy. And I always begin by tapping the product in first cause you wanna just lay it down and then you can go back in and buff it in. So when I was doing my brows earlier, I got a comment on one of my videos pretty rude pretty nasty I mean I don't care it's you know it's kind of expected but I just I I don't get it I wish somebody could just explain to me how like why like how what would possess you to I don't know I can't even form like my words correctly to you know explain what I'm feeling but there's so many videos of people just being like you know enough with the cyber bullying and enough with like the disrespectful rude comments and people keep doing that and it's like you know I watch videos too and I have certain thoughts that cross my mind too like oh her foundation doesn't match her neck or she's talking too much or it's completely not relevant to the video or she's texting or whatever it, it may be but it it like never occurs to me to be like hey I'm gonna put this comment on their channel for everybody to see. I'm just gonna be really nasty and just put my negative energy out there and I'm just, I don't know. I don't get what would possess people to do that and it just makes me sad. It makes me sad that people have so much hate in their lives and so much negativity in their lives that they wanna put that on other people and I don't know. <sighs> but anyway. What are you gonna do, you know? No matter how much we talk about it or complain or try to help people, it, there's always gonna be somebody that's gonna try to bring somebody else down and that's just, 
that's just our world unfortunately okay so I am powdered and see how it just looks really like just looks really pretty like I don't know I can't even explain it you, you can still see my skin glowing but it's not it's not like I don't know I just I love how it looks it just looks like you're glowing from within I absolutely love it so then I'm going to be taking a blush and the trick is you want to kind of find a blush that has a little bit of a sheen to it and from my skin tone because I've got more of like an olive yellow undertone I find that peaches look really pretty on me so I'm going to grab luminous luminoso 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 <laughs> from Milani and my favorite blush brush which is the Morphe 500 and it's funny when I first bought this brush I was gonna use it for highlighting but then it covered so much ground at once that I was like mm kind of starting to look like a disco ball so not gonna do that so it's just like the perfect gotta do your creepy little face it's just like the perfect blush brush in my opinion and then I always do a little bit on the tip as well, just so that it looks like the color is carried out throughout the top points of my face. I love that. Like, I just look, I feel so refreshed and very wide-eyed and awake, you know what I mean? I just, I don't know, I'm so in love with this look, you guys. I love it. What's next? So then, just take any type of a bronzer. Actually, most of the time, I don't even bronze my skin because I feel like the blush on my cheekbones just kind of does enough of its own kind of natural contouring but for the purpose of the video I'm just going to do a little bit of contouring so I'm going to be using my physician's formula baked bronzer and this is in the color baked bronze do that and then to bronze I'm going to be using the Morphe M180 not too much but just right on the edge very very outer edge I'm not gonna take it all the way down just for a little bit of definition a little bit on the top and you want to make sure not to go overboard and then I'm just gonna take a pretty fluffy blending brush and using that same bronzer just lightly sweep it into my crease just so that my eyelid is not completely flat oh crap I forgot to put my Invisalign in. <laughs> Last time I was at my dentist's, um, I went to get like my next set of trays and I walked in and I totally forgot to put it back in before I left to go to her office and I got there and she's like, where's your Invisalign? And I was like, oh, I forgot to put it back in. And she's like, don't let it happen again. Cause you know, every minute counts. They say that you get optimal results if you only have it out for like a maximum of two hours a day. The last thing, even though they say you're not supposed to do this, I don't have a problem with this happening, but I'm just gonna conceal on the very inner corners. Even though we've already powdered everything, just gonna lightly go over top just to get rid of those dark circles and I'm going to be using my it cosmetics bye bye under eye and this is like isn't this the craziest like it's so little it's so tiny it's so cute I love it and just ever so like you need the tiniest amount of this product because it goes so far so just ever so slightly and I'm just gonna pat that into the inner corners of my eye as long as you know the consistency of the products that you're layering, it shouldn't be too much of a problem to layer a cream on top of a powder. And then just setting it with a little bit of powder as well. These brushes shed like a mother. Good brushes, don't get me wrong, but the shedding is just like crazy. And then last but not least, a little bit of mascara on your top and bottom lashes. All right, so I did my upper and lower lashes. It's kind of a process, not gonna lie. My lashes are like so naturally curly and thick and long that it, it like I have to get super up close to the mirror to make sure that I'm not like smearing it all over my face. So next I'm just gonna line my lips with this Italia lip liner in mauve. I love these liners. They are so creamy and they smell amazing and they're like $2 a piece. So you get a whole lot of product for two bucks. So just gonna line my lips. And then I'll just top this off with a nude gloss and we should be good to go. I love Bites products. So I kind of feel like I need to put something a little brighter in my inner corner. So I was just looking at my eyes and I'm like, mm, I need something there. And then you can also, if you want to, line the rim of your eyes with like a nude line. Actually, let me go ahead and do that. And then just lock it in place. 
that is pretty much it you guys I hope you like it I absolutely love this look like I said every time I've been wearing it I get so many compliments on my skin everybody's like have you been on vacation you look so glowy and natural and yeah I just I I love it I think it's so pretty and I mean it's winter time but in California I don't think there's such thing because it was like 80 degrees yesterday and it's about 75 today so this has just been really really pretty here and with the sun and everything it just I don't know I think it looks beautiful so give it a try and I need to go and put my Invisalign in because I can't be out with them I can't be out without them I can't have them be out for so long okay there we go and yeah that's pretty much it so I hope that you guys enjoyed if you have any questions again just let me know put them all down in the comment section and I will get to them as soon as I can and I hope everybody's having a wonderful day and a wonderful week and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!